People, people. Hi, friends. Uh, Monica McNutt here. And um, I'm an ACC basketball analyst. Woo! Uh, hope everyone's safe and sound. It's one o'clock on April 21st. We're getting ready to chop it up with Elissa Kunane of Pack Women's Basketball, NC State, ACC reigning champions from the conference tournament, obviously. I actually think the pack was looking pretty good heading into the NCAA tournament, but 2020 will be the year that we all remember for sad reasons. All right, let's see if we can get Big Smile, affectionately calls her, and on the call, hey, Brooke, saw you, girl. Hey, girl. All right, we're waiting. Let's see if we got energy today. I don't want to be out here like Teddy Riley and Babyface struggling on Instagram. Hey, Alyssa, how are you? What's up? I'm good. How are you? I am fantastic. Okay, so look, check us out. Um, your faithful pack folks <laughs> are still tracking me down to this day mm -hmm. for my comments on Packer and Durham. So I just want to set the record straight and ask for your blessing. Now, if I know, I know I, from what I understand, those comments made it into a group text. Is that true? Uh, not that I know of, no. Oh, okay. Well, excuse me. Um, but can I please be, can you please give me your blessing <laughs> as an analyst from Pack Women's Basketball, please? Um, I guess so. I mean, we're ACC champ, so I guess there so. There you go. I need to be absolved because let me tell you, your fans are loyal and they, they just- They are. They are. <laughs> we love them. <laughs> All right. So let's go back to that run, actually. Heading into the ACC tournament in Greensboro, you guys played fantastic basketball. And to me, I mean, you were just clicking on all cylinders. Was there a conversation or was it just go time? Um, we knew it was go time. We had lost a couple games before we went into the tournament. And we all knew that that wasn't us. Uh, and we knew we could play to a much higher potential. And so we, we wanted the ACC championship. And we had to do everything we could do to go out there and get it. You did that indeed. And I think for me... You guys were clicking on all cylinders, but for you particularly, I thought that you showed a level of patience and composure that really spoke to how much you grew over the course of the season. And I can remember Coach Moore saying at one point they were really focusing with you on holding your position in the paint, not allowing defenders to deflect the passes from around you. What are you most proud of in terms of your growth this year? Um, I would definitely say like slowing down and just my leadership that I've been able to have on the team. Um, a lot of people doubted us coming into the season because we lost some great players last year. Um, but I think that we all kept our composure and we stayed true to who we are. Definitely. So where do you guys go from here? Um, we go back to the ACC championship. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, I right that. now, yeah, right now it's slow. Um, we're all just trying to stay safe. Um, but as soon as we're cleared to work out, we're all going to be back in the gym and back together with the team. What have you guys been up to in the pandemic? I mean, that seems to be... God, everybody's trying to figure this out. <laughs> I know. Well, I've been, I'm actually in Raleigh right now, but I've been at home. Um, I've been kayaking with my mom and brother, riding bikes on the trails, baking a little bit, probably okay. eating too much. <laughs> okay. Baking? What uh, you got? Let me talk, yeah. let's talk about the skills in the kitchen. <laughs> well, the first thing I made when I was home was my parents' anniversary. So I made them like a cake. Oh, that's And nice. I put it into a heart and I put like another heart on top. It's a pretty good cake. Um, and then I made pretzels the other day. And they made were... pretzels? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So were these supposed to be like Aunt Annie's soft pretzels, or did you like bake like crispy? Yes. Oh, soft pretzels. Yeah, soft pretzels. Oh. They're pretty good. They're pretty Wh good. <laughs> Where'd you steal this recipe from? Or borrow? Like, um, so my dad got my mom a Joanna Gaines. Oh, um, you love Chip and Joanna. Yes. So we've been literally making everything out of there over this quarantine. Nice. That's fantastic. All right. We got a great question here. Um, someone wants to know, what are you binge watching during the quarantine? Oh, so right now I'm binge watching season 16 of Grey's Anatomy. Wow. You took it back on me. I did. I, I watched all the other seasons and I just realized the last season was up. So aside from my schoolwork, that's what I'm binge watching right now. Oh my God, season 16. Did you watch it when it originally was on? That'll put you in middle school, right? No, I was a baby. Yeah, I was gonna say, <laughs> shouldn't have been if you were watching. <laughs> Grace is a good one though. I fell off, God, I fell off after the crash. Yeah. 
I was like, mm, all right, Shonda, you're getting a little creative for me. <laughs> exactly. It's definitely drawn out way too far, but I can't just stop watching it at this point. Got to finish it strong. That's, that's so true. <laughs> all right. So what are you doing in terms of working out? Like, this has always been interesting. I love the videos that various schools are putting out with the strength and conditioning coaches with the backpacks mm -hmm. and the water jugs and like getting real creative. Yeah. So in my basement, we actually have like a treadmill and elliptical and a Smith machine. So nice. I've been able to lift weights, um, walk on the treadmill, to go on the elliptical. And then I've also been taking my bike out to the greenway. Nice. And it's like a seven and a half long greenway. But I've been going like 12, 15 miles. Um, and then I've also been kayaking. Um, that's something that me and my family have like started to love over these past couple weeks. That's awesome. All right, we got another solid question. Let's see how you respond to this one. Do you think you guys will be champions again? <laughs> That's not even the question. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's our goal. We're going to go into every season wanting to win every game. Yeah, I love that. I love that. All right, so what are you guys doing as a team to stay connected? Are there team Zooms or is everybody just kind of texting one another? What's the deal? Yeah, so a little bit of everything. We've had team meetings on Zoom and then – um, the other day, we just sent a FaceTime out to the group chat, and then literally everybody was on, and then we were like, hey, yo, like, let's add Coach Moore, and then let's add all the assistant coaches, and like, let's add the strength and conditioning people, and so we literally had like every single person associated with women's basketball in there. That's fantastic. Um, um, that's Ari cool. Ivory, the director of Highlighter, the account there is shouting out the pack. She's an NC State alum, saying every single year, you guys will be up for a championship. <laughs> We had another question, though. Do you have a Coach more impression? I love impressions. Ooh. All right. It's been, it's been a minute since I've seen him. <laughs> I think his main impression is his accent. Like, oh, y'all. <laughs> Let's pay attention on the baseline. <laughs> that was perfect. Oh, my yeah, God. That's the one that says to me most of the time. <laughs> Man, um, listen, we're getting some really good questions for you. All right. So if someone says, what do you think? made the difference between your game between this season and last season? What was the biggest difference? Maddie, um, I think I really just had to step up. Um, I grew up a lot last year with Erica's injury. Um, I was just mm -hmm. kind of thrust into everything. Um, and so over the summer, I really just worked hard to maintain that position and just had to grow up a little bit. Love it, love it, love it. And honestly, it, I love that answer. And I think we can have – ceilings and expectations but part of it honestly is just the process like I know we hate to hear trust the process but growing <laughs> is literally a part of the game and like we could not magically make you who you are this year without last year's experience so that's a great answer all right so oh I like this one did you watch the WNBA draft I did okay any surprises for you um oof, I think that I was surprised by Jocelyn Willoughby yeah. Um, going 10th, which was amazing. Go ACC. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I think she definitely deserves it, but I was definitely shocked by that one. And then I think I was shocked that whoever it was didn't pick Taisha Harris. They chose Kiki, but then Ty yes. got chosen. Yeah. So yeah. my family was shocked at that one, but that's all I can really think of. Um, I think to me, the draft really spoke to – the WNBA scouts looking for what their teams need. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, I you and I know about Jocelyn Willoughby because we were in ACC. You guys had to deal with her. We're covering her. But mm -hmm. I think mainstream, because UVA wasn't a program that was ranked this year, you had mm -hmm. to really, like, know your women's hoops to really dig into that one. When you look at stuff like that, Alyssa, because your time's going to come. We're all super excited for your future. Like, are you envisioning yourself there? Are you just kind of taking it in right now? Like, what was going through your mind as far as your concern watching the draft? Yeah, so I definitely, um, it was funny, I told my mom, I was like, if I was doing this draft, I'd be in sweatpants, so I wouldn't be all dressed up. <laughs> She's like, Lisa, yes, you would be. Um, okay, sweatpants, a little bit of makeup, or no makeup either? No, I was okay. just feeling. <laughs> um, but yeah, I definitely do um, want to be in the WNBA draft one day. I think the new CBA that came out is amazing um, in the women's world, so I definitely am looking forward to that time in my life. That's going to be so, so exciting. All right, we got another question from Brayden. What was y'all's toughest game this year? Whew. You got to take me back. Mm -hmm. I, hmm. Because I can't think much further past ACC championship, um, I'm going to say that game. I that think because game. Florida State was a great team, and they just beat the number one seed in the tournament, Louisville. 
Mm -hmm. um and so i think that energy and that atmosphere um it was very tough to compete against them and especially the second time around it's always harder the second time yeah and that, i think that was a great game both teams played really well you guys showed poise and made some big time defensive stops when you needed them the most um that, that was just a fantastic game all right so have you talked to ace <laughs> yeah i have um yeah i actually um joined in on the dribbling drills the ace was teaching the other day for like little kids nice <laughs> um but yeah i've been talking to her pretty often oh man that's so so i mean you guys i just you guys had a really great run down the stretch all right so as you look ahead to the rest of the summer what area do you want to grow like what do you want to add next to your game um, I think the next thing that I want to add is, like, more ball handling skills and taking care of the ball more. Okay. Um, I think that's something, you know, it's not the easiest to get into a gym and just put up a bunch of shots right now. Um, and it's not the easiest. But I think that dribbling drills is one thing that it's easy for me to do at home right now. Mm -hmm. um, so I think just slowing down, limiting my turnovers um, is one thing I'm going to try and focus on. Awesome. Love that. All right. So one of my things in this whole process, whether it be college athletes we're talking about or pro athletes, you know, everybody's trying to get the pros back on track. Mm -hmm. My thing has been we can't ignore what's happening. Like, it doesn't affect our athletes as well. How are you feeling? Like, are you, you good? You managing? <laughs> yeah, I'm managing. Um, I think right after it all happened, like, we were literally about to practice that day. And then they're like, nope, we can't practice. And so we were all mm -hmm. just kind of like, Wow. And I think it was more of a shock. I think it's definitely set in for me now. Um, and although, like, I, I'm past the point where I was devastated and sad and just mm -hmm. trying to be positive, we ended the year on a win. That usually means something pretty good. Yeah. Um, and now I'm just looking forward to next season and that everything's going to be different over the summer. But I think it's a cool thing to be a part of. And I'm also lucky that I do have two more years and – Unfortunately, the seniors, like, that was it for them. But yeah, it's better than coming back. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is the question they seem to be asking everybody. If this had not happened, where do you see you guys? What what, what could have been the ceiling for you guys? I thought y'all were playing really good basketball. Yeah, the ceiling was endless for us. Um, I think I think we're seated in the Greenville, right? Mm -hmm. Greenville region. Mm -hmm. um, and so that would have been close to home. We would have had a ton of Wolfpack Nation there. Yeah. Um, and I think it really would have boosted us on. Um, I think the sky's the limit. There's any given day um, we can win any game. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. This is this is so weird. It's like, I can't even, like, ugh. I yeah, can't, I mean, it is crazy. I mean, I, I think, I know for me, when it was all over, like, there's nothing like having teammates again to people that mm -hmm. are going after the same goal, literally putting in the same amount of hours and stuff. So I guess the one silver lining is that it's not like as if you're going through it alone, right? Like, you literally have mm -hmm. your teammates. Um, but this is definitely one for the history books, for sure. Yeah, I think it's definitely uniting people um, all across the country um, that we're all having to kind of rely on each other. Like, oh, hey, what are you doing for workouts? Like, oh, okay, I'll do that. And yeah. just keeping in touch with our teammates to keep the positive. Yeah. Have you been able to find a silver lining? One of my friends asked me that, and I really had to think about it. Yeah, um, I think I have a silver lining in everything, and I think, the biggest one for me right now is all this family time I get to be yeah. spending. Yeah. Um, we've just been having great family time. Um, so although it's definitely different because it's definitely like I'm back in high school, <laughs> back <laughs> living at home. Um, but I, I've i been so grateful for the family time that I've been able to have because I'm never going to be able to get this time back. Yeah, yeah. I love that perspective. All right. <laughs> oh, someone asked, who rebounds for you when you shoot at home? <laughs> That's my mom. <laughs> Hey, mom. <laughs> my mom rebounds for me, and my dad tells me to get it there because I'm usually short. <laughs> that, that's fantastic. <laughs> Ace, well, we, um, oh, you're not Ace. Ace is your point guard. Alyssa, well, we <laughs> totally appreciate your time. And I also, you, we had an opportunity to share the story about you and your dad during the ACC mm -hmm. tournament, which was absolutely incredible. Um, so passionate. It really speaks to who you are and how special your family is. Mom getting in there and rebounding. <laughs> what do you want people to take away from that story? Um, I think like you just asked that question about the silver lining. I think that there's been a silver lining in everything. Um, and I think that's one thing that I've had to just live with for my life. Um, and it's one thing that I really pride myself in is that through every situation, I can find the positives in it because at the end of the day, life goes on and you won't be able to get 
any time back. So there's no point in being sad or being down or being negative. You just got to be happy. I know it's a Tuesday, but listen, that was a <laughs> Sunday kind of vibe. That's <laughs> a word right there. Find the silver lining. Like, you you absolutely cannot get the time back. But we certainly appreciate you for taking the time out to chat with us on ACC Network Instagram Live. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, thanks for having me. All right, girl. Well, stay safe. We're all certainly looking forward to next season and seeing you continue to grow and the Wolfpack defend their title. Thank you very much. All right, have a good one. You too. Bye. All right, people. See, I'm absolved, NC State fans. Let me let, see. Ha, we're moving forward. Um, thanks to Alyssa and Wolfpack for like, coming to hang out with us. Everybody stay safe. Wash your hands. Maintain your distance. Um, sports will be back soon enough, but we got to protect ourselves first. We'll talk at you next time. Peace out. Kind of. Okay.